right, uh, this is going to be the third video for Wednesday. This uh, is going to be the lesson for today. It is called the remainder slash factor theorem. And if you want the exact definition, uh, you can find it on page 365, but I'm just going to go ahead and start going through it so that you guys can understand what to do. Okay. This section, the directions are extremely important to copy down. Okay, because there's we're doing the same process for everything, but in each type of problem, I'm looking for something a little bit differently. So in your notes right now, I want to make sure that you guys write down uh, the directions. So the first set of directions are going to be find the complete factorization. of the following polynomial given a factor. And what I want to stress here, guys, is how, where it says complete factorization. Okay? So that means all the factors that you found, including the one you're going to be given, needs to be in the final answer. So I'll repeat that again that all the factors that you found plus the original one that you were given to start the problem need to be in the final answer. All right, so let's take a look at number one. Okay. Yes, I know this is a cubic. However, it is not the sum or difference of two cubes, so we can't use stop stops. All right, we're going to factor this. How you factor it is just like synthetic division. Okay, so you're going to start off doing synthetic division, okay. and you're going to keep doing synthetic division until you get down to a quadratic. Okay. Remember that a quadratic is degree 2. So if we look at uh, our problem, okay, we start with degree 3, which is a cubic. How many times are we going to have to perform synthetic division to get down to a quadratic? Okay, remember that every time you perform synthetic division, your answer starts with one degree less than what you started with. Okay. So since we have degree 3 here, we are going to only have to do synthetic division once due to the fact that after we perform it once, we're already down to a quadratic. Okay, so remember that we do the opposite sign here, so it's going to be a 1. Carry down all the coefficients. And then let's perform synthetic division. So we have 1, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. Okay. Now when you guys are doing this, that very first synthetic division you perform, and actually a couple other ones too, depending on what degree you started with, the remainder should be 0. Okay. So we started with degree 3 here, so we're going to start with degree 2 here. So x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals 0. Hopefully you notice that we got down to a quadratic, which is exactly what I want you guys to do. Yes, can you keep doing synthetic division? But yes, but you guys haven't really learned what to do from here yet. Uh, that's going to be tomorrow's lesson. But uh, we can use all the, the procedures that we know how to solve a quadratic. The quadratic formula, square roots, uh, factoring, and so forth. Well, hopefully you notice that this one factors very nicely. This is x plus 2 times x plus 1. Okay. Now, why wouldn't that be my final answer? Okay. Hopefully you thought to yourself, well, the complete factorization has to have all the factors in it. So that original one that they gave you guys needs to also be in your final answer. So x minus 1. That is the complete factorization of the polynomial. So if you need to, take an active note about the fact that you have to include that original factor you were given. You want to get down to a quadratic. That's the most important part here. Since we started with degree 3, we only had to do synthetic division once because then we were down to degree 2 right away. All right, let's try another example. Oh, sorry, hold on. Let me erase that real quick. So x to the third minus x squared minus 10x minus 8. And you're going to divide that by x plus 1. 
Okay, so how many times are you going to have to do synthetic division in order to get down to a quadratic? Well, since we started with degree 3, we're only going to have to do it once. Okay? Remember that this number that's going on the outside is a 0. So if I set x plus 1 to equal to 0, then the number that goes on the outside is negative 1. Or some of you might just think of it as you do the opposite sign. So let's write everything down. And then let's go through the problem. So 1, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. What do you notice? We get down to the remainder of 0. We started with degree 3. We're down to degree 2. So x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. And hopefully, once again, you notice that this quadratic will factor very nicely to x minus 4 times x plus 2. And once again, why am I not done? Hopefully you answer the question too. You need to include the original factor that we were given when you are providing the complete factorization of a problem. Now, of course, you can always multiply these three polynomials back out and get the original dividend. All right, so that is the first set of directions for your homework for tonight. Now we're going to look at a new set of directions. And please make sure you're copying this down. And this set is going to say completely factor the following polynomials given f of k equals 0. By the way, you guys, I am taking the directions directly off your homework as well as off your future quizzes and tests. So like I've mentioned a few times already, please make sure that you guys get the directions down in your notes. All right, so let's take a look at number one. So number one, we have f of x equals 2x to the third minus 5x squared minus 38x plus 15. And then you're going to see a semicolon with a number. This number, what this is telling us is that if I plug 5 into my polynomial, I'm going to get 0. Remember that's the whole point of roots and zeros and solutions, that when you plug a number in, you're going to get 0 for the... All right, so like I was saying, when you plug in one of these values, you will get a 0 back out, which is a solution or a root to the system. Okay, and that's the number that goes on the outside of this bracket, is a solution or a root. Okay, so we're going to write down 5. You do not do the opposite sign on this one since they gave you a 0. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and perform synthetic division. So we get 2, multiply, add, multiply, add. All right, my sincere apologies. Uh, I realized I wrote down something wrong, and I really don't want to redo this entire problem and start the video all over again. So... Please make this a negative 28, and this will make our problem work a lot nicer, okay? So please change that negative 38 to a negative 28. So then we have negative 3, multiply, add, you get 0, okay? I obviously knew I wrote something down wrong since I didn't get the remainder to be 0. Okay, so we started with degree 3, now we're down to degree 2, so we have a quadratic. And then you're going to factor this, or you could use the quadratic formula. It's entirely up to you. Okay. Uh, I like to do factor by grouping. So I get 2x squared plus 6x minus x minus 3 equals 0. Take out a 2x of the first two ones. Take out a negative 1 out of the second two. And you get 2x minus 1 times x plus 3. Now, it does say to completely factor in the direction, so make sure that you include that original factor. Okay, and remember that this is what it equals after you set it equal to 0. So, if you have x minus r equals 0, in order for that to be true, then we would have to have this r to be 5. So, here's the answer for number 1. All right, I want you guys to do the same example or same type of problem. Give you guys a minute or two to try this on your own. You get f of x 
do equal 3x to the third plus 10x squared minus x minus 12. And you're going to use the fact that negative 3 is a solution. All right, so go ahead and try this problem. All right, so we're going to put negative 3 on the outside, drop down all the coefficients, make sure that you have zeros for missing terms, but we don't have any, so we don't have to worry about it. Drop down, multiply, drop down, multiply, drop down, multiply, we get 0. So 3x squared plus 1x minus 4. Okay, and then you're going to factor this. Remember that you can use the quadratic formula, or you can factor, it's entirely up to you. Okay, so this would give me... Uh, 4x and negative 3x, so 3x squared plus 4x minus 3x minus 4. Okay, all I'm doing, you guys, is doing factor by grouping. So I get x minus 1 times 3x plus 4. And then what would the additional factor have to be that I would include? Hopefully you would say x plus 3. Okay. Now the last part of your homework is going to be a set of directions that says, given one zero of the following polynomial, uh, find the other zeros. Okay. And what you're going to do in this problem is exactly uh, what you did up here, okay, you're going to first find the complete factorization, but now they want the zeros. So you're going to set each one equal to zero, and you're going to solve. So x equals 1, negative 4 thirds, and negative 3. Okay? Make sure that you include the original solution that they gave you, uh, and that's the second half of your homework tonight. So just do what we did in the previous examples, and then set each one equal to zero and solve. All right, we're going to do one tough example and then we'll be done. So we have x to the fourth plus 2x to the third minus 8x minus 16. Okay, and I want you guys to do uh, what we just did in the previous set of direction, which is find all the zeros and you were given negative 2. Okay. Notice that we start with degree 4 here. So how many times am I going to have to do synthetic division? Hopefully you recognize twice. Okay, We had a missing term here for x squared, so we went ahead and inserted it in. So 1, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. So this gives me x to the third minus 8 equals 0. Now notice we can do factor uh, stop stops here. So x minus 2 and then x squared plus 2x plus 4. Okay. Opposite sign, same sign, positive. Now this one's nice and easy to set equal to 0. x minus 2 equals 0. And we get x to equal 2 and we already know the original negative 2. This one, however, doesn't factor anymore. So guess what we have to use? the quadratic formula. So negative 2 plus or minus 4 minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. You should get 2 plus or minus uh, the square root of negative 12 over 2. Now, if the problem says find only the real zeros, you're done after this because these are only the real numbers. If the problem says find all the zeros, then you keep going even if you get an i. So then we would add negative 1 plus or minus 1.